Hello and welcome to The Thread of Gentlemen, a brand new podcast where we take a kamikaze dive into the best and often worst tales the internet has to offer. I'm Johnny. I'm Ben. I'm Charlie. And without any further ado, I think we need to get the show started. Uh, new one, The Wurgles. Wurgle. Yeah. Does anybody have any idea of what that is before I even go into uh, it? No. Sounds it like is. a kid's TV show, but given the nature of this podcast, I really hope it isn't. Uh, okay. Do you know what? I I just went, the Wurgles, and... The Wurgles? I actually can see that the story starts at the centre of Liverpool. Okay. <laughs> no way. Yeah, okay. So, so my story re- revolves around a weird little street. So you also get bonus points for doing the whole thing in a Liverpool accent. I mean, I piss off a, a lot of people. So. <laughs> yeah, maybe. maybe, maybe, maybe. Uh, no, I'm not going to go there. Uh, so, a uh, little street corner in central Liverpool, which I have countless tales of strain of the strange and unnatural. Uh, so maybe maybe a, a few packed into this one, or maybe even some more from the Wiggles. The Wiggles. The Wiggles. So it's actually from a, a Widder C. Uh, okay, so uh, for this story, I'm going to focus on the most f***ed up families I've ever had the displeasure to lay my eyes on. The Wiggles. So we now know it's a family. Okay. Family, uh, family probably of wild Wiggles. Like <laughs> yeah. It's a really unfortunate surname. Uh, so just for a little background on this family, uh, the year was around 1997 uh, when the Wiggles moved into the street uh, and instantly the local kids and teens knew there was something different about this family and it wasn't just the overpowering smell of festering <laughs> shit. <laughs> I mean, that's wow. it, though, wouldn't it? That went. I don't think that's a turn of a phrase. I think he literally means that there is fecal matter in the air. Uh, the family consisted of the father, who died years ago. So it doesn't consist Sorry of the Sorry to hear that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, so the mother, Rose, uh, who is in her 90s now, uh, but was fit as a fiddle and had a paper round, what's that, had a paper round until recent years. What, 90? How old was she in the 90s? That would have made her, like, what? The latter end of her 60s? Yeah. Look, so 60, in a paper God, we're old. Like, yeah. Yeah. No, she's f***ing yeah, old. Yeah. And she has been for the duration of the story till now. Uh, uh, bless you, Rose, by the way. We're not taking a dig at you. Love you, Rose. We're not ageist here. Even though you're doing a f***ing paper round. Um, Ronnie was a big, lanky, mumbling buffoon. Angus... A fat mumbling buffoon with a a black leg from a dog bite she never got treated. <laughs> Angus is a girl. Angus is a girl. So Angus Wiggle is a girl with a uh, with a black leg. That's got to be a typo, because like, you wouldn't ever call a girl. I mean, uh, right, dog leg aside, right, we'll get yeah. to that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. dog, dog leg. Dog leg. <laughs> the dog-legged wiggle. Um, and so she's is this just, supposed to be Agnes and autocorrect as just f- this story? I, I, so anyway, but can we can we call her Angus? Because I feel like that. Call her where you want. Yeah. <laughs> All right, and Simon the grandson, big family, who had a voice like a scouse Mr Bean. When I was 12, my best friend moved in next door to the Wiggles, uh, which gave us some access to observe the family from some privileged angles for many years. Uh, now back to the smell. Good, I was, I was hoping we'd go back there. This was unreal. The smell was so bad, it can only be described in one way. Uh, and uh, that way is the devil's arsehole. <laughs> yeah, Fair enough. That's, as arseholes go, that's, that's right up there. Uh, you could tell when the, the Wiggles had a door open on the house before even entering the street because you could smell it. Uh, like when a farmer has sprayed manure over his field for New Year's crops and the smell of inescapable sh- in the air. Uh, come to think of it now, I don't even think the, the Wiggles could stand it. Uh, because they always had the bloody door open. We, we we used to take great pleasure in watching people enter the house only to see them get out as soon as possible. Uh, one time, a gas man who had to check the meter entered only to come out running a minute or so later (laughs) to protect our vomit in the street. Oh yeah, it's definitely Ah, definitely the Wurgles. As I said, my friend lived next door to them and and fortunately for me, maybe not for him, his bedroom was directly next to the Wurgles sharing the wall with them uh, uh, on a row of uh, of terraced houses. So the mystery apparently is what was hidden behind the walls. I'm going to suggest it's probably the Wurgles. 
I hope we're meandering to a point. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, we're worming that. We're wurgling our way to we're the end of the story. Uh, so... Uh, it's the best okay. story. <laughs> <laughs> so far, this everyone on this street is is weird. Um, uh, but just out of arm's reach uh, was only exaggerated more in my mind by the strange mumbles and coughing up of phlegm we could hear at all hours of the day. Keep your lung butter to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so out of my friend's window, he could see into the Wurgles' back garden, which was a reasonable size, and with no word of a lie, was uh, was a full-on pet cemetery. <laughs> what the f*** is going what on? Is what is this? He's taking some zips and dives, uh, apparently complete with headstones. Oh so it's, it's like a Stephen King, you know, wet dream. Jesus. Uh, yeah. Okay. Fine. Okay. Fine. Yeah, this yeah, is yeah, I, yeah. I don't know where this is going, but at some point there's going to be a full stop. Uh, there were way too many. <laughs> 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 there were way too many strange encounters with the Wurgles over the years. Angus would sit on the front doorstep with a, s- with a swollen black leg, legs akimbo, and unfortunately without knickers. So there she is, just. So legs, wait, she, legs she's, open. She's legs leg. akimbo, yeah. Right. Right. One leg open, one useless appendage. <laughs> <laughs> dog leg, uh, non dog leg. Is that what happens when you get bitten in the leg by a dog? It goes black. I don't know, Ben. Or did she just have a really unfortunate skiing incident? <laughs> I, I just okay. to the <laughs> dog. <laughs> it's it's free. Right. <laughs> just to run up. All right, we've got <laughs> smells, we've got open doors, we've got pet cemeteries, and we've got uh, a gaping uh, you'd Angus. Move. You'd leave. Right. Yeah, so, um, um, so I, I can't 100% confirm this. Uh, but according to Ken, the tracky, we gave him this nickname because he wore the same tracksuit every day for years. Uh, is that time is taking its toll on poor Rose? Who- so the carer has come up, gone into the bedroom. She finds Ronnie having sex with his own mother. Oh. God. To be honest, it's not surprising. But Why was the incest a highlight? Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 that's quite funny. I quite like. <laughs> Masturbating shadow puppets. Good. <laughs> good. Always off to a clear start. Bill, this one might be a winner. Mm. Okay. Rewind back to me at 14 years old. Awkward, naive, constantly horny and still oblivious to the fact that websites dedicated to porn existed. As such, my attempts at finding stimulating material usually resulted in me typing boobs and butts in thongs into Google search and then immediately deleting my history. (laughs) (laughs) It had to start somewhere. This is pre-porn updates. This is the land before time. (laughs) (laughs) This is AOL time. When dinosaurs ruled the earth. (laughs) (laughs) One night, to avoid watching TV with my dad, his wife and her two kids downstairs, I claimed that I had some homework to do. Of course, this was a lie. I just wanted boobs and butts in thongs and some private time. So I fired up the old desktop, got Internet Explorer up and running, went straight to Google and started getting my freak on. Oh, is he using dial-up? I'm definitely putting the sound of dial-up behind me. (laughs) You're going to be waiting a while. Now this is where things went wrong. I got horny and forgot the layout of my house. That's very specific, is it? I got horny and forgot the layout of my house. What? How horny what? did you get? Right? <laughs> yeah. that's, that's really horny. Yeah. yeah. Jesus. I'm sure there was a kitchen around here, but yeah. I'm so horny. <laughs> <laughs> you see, my bedroom was upstairs and I had no door. A sort of spiral staircase, think straight edges though, led up to my room. So that's not just in a, any that's way. A that's a normal staircase. staircase. Yeah. You f***ing fiend. <laughs> <laughs> but whatever the f*** it was, it led up to his room, which was located almost directly above the living room. Where just at that point, I just feel like this guy was about to describe, it's like a spiral staircase, but it's straight and it has buttons with all the floors on it. I'm like, how the <laughs> f*** did you get up? <laughs> oh, right, so he's above the living room where again his dad his wife no, sorry the dad's wife and her two kids were watching TV the desktop was right next to the staircase but I figured the TV was loud enough to mask the sounds of my sins and I was right but what I didn't account for was the big white wall directly to my right that the staircase adjoined and how it was visible from the living room <laughs> oh no oh, oh. Dear. 
I also didn't register that the reading lamp on my nightstand, which was turned on and so very bright, was to my left and pointing directly at me. I eventually did notice, however, that the TV downstairs had gone quiet and that no one in the living room was talking. (laughs) And that's when I turned to my right and I looked at the wall and realised that I was casting a giant shadow puppet of me masturbating across this entire leg. Oh, it didn't look like a bunny rabbit as well. (laughs) A perfect masturbating shadow monster projection of my penis and hand stretched across its surface. And I had no idea how long ago the people downstairs had noticed it. So I did what anyone would do in that situation. I put my shadow puppet dick away, pulled up my pants, walked into my bedroom and sat there until I heard the TV coming back on. I'm hoping as well that the angle of the light made it look like he basically had a Pinocchio cock. Just like... (laughs) Lie to me. (laughs) And then I went to bed. (laughs) I went to bed without saying a word and left early for school the next day. No one ever bought it up, and I'm thankful. But I know what they saw, and I'm still cringing. Oh, it's living in all of their memories. Oh, you'd kill yourself. You just ah, f- yeah. That's when you leave countries. Do you know what I mean? Well, I, do you know, I, feel, I feel I'm cringing for him. I'm I mean, going to think about that in about a week's time. Yeah, and just be like, oh, that no, you that know happened. for a fact that's the guy. He told that story for the first time because that's been plaguing him for years. Yeah, yeah. he's and plaguing like, me. Yeah. Releasing it, he's like, yeah, okay, I'm finally free. I'm free. It's like Jumanji. You have to hand it on. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but to just be everyone else in the family, and it's like, look at your your sibling, and just be like, yeah, oh, God, that is Jumanji. You're just I playing know. with everyone. That you know. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, Robin, Robin, Robin Williams, Williams comes out wanky. to scare you halfway through. <laughs> Jumanji! <laughs> <laughs> oh, rest in peace. If you've liked what you've heard in this podcast, but you've got your own stories that you know are even worse, please send it through to stories at thethreadofgentlemen.com and we will do our best to air your dirty and filthy laundry for you. Thank you. Uh, Okay, so next story is called Kevin. Uh, It's not uncommon as a teacher to have students who are a bit behind the curve in certain aspects, but 99% of the time they are keen on something. They might not understand how to identify a noun or what a theme is, but they know how to make a mean plate of nachos. (laughs) (laughs) I did not see it going that direction. (laughs) This is not a school, this is Charles. You might be shit at school, but you can damn well put together some hot nachos. (laughs) (laughs) You learn pretty quickly not to judge a fish by their tree climbing ability. I thought this. Th- I like that. Yeah. This was the. I thought this was the rule when I was teaching until I met Kevin. Kevin isn't his real name, but it doesn't matter because he can't spell it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, Kevin was a student of mine during the last year of teaching. He came to my classroom with a, a very little to show for his academic past. He had moved a few times and thus was missing a lot of typical test scores that we use to try and ballpark a student's ability. I thought that's fine. I'll just do some one-on-one with Kevin to see what's up. One-on-one with Kevin was like conversing with someone who'd forgotten everything in a freak, if not impossible, amnesiac incident. <laughs> there was no evidence that he had learned anything in the past two, in the past second grade. And now that he was in ninth grade, flabbergasted, I figured we need to get more serious with this. If he was going to be in class, I needed to know why and how. Got a vested interest in Kevin. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I do as well at this exactly. point. I want to know what happens to this boy. Kevin! <laughs> I, I, I got just... lost in New York at one point. <laughs> yeah. Is anyone else getting the image of um, like quite an overweight small child with a bowl cut? <laughs> I am now. Yeah. <laughs> you completely put that one on my head. Uh, I decided to meet with him, his guidance counselor, his parents, and another teacher to see what was really going on. This is where it all became clear. It was by some incredible fluke that his family hadn't been wiped off the face of the earth years ago. (laughs) (laughs) You know. They bypassed evolution. (laughs) Yes, get (laughs) it. Odds are his entire heritage was based on blind luck (laughs) and some type of sick divine intervention that saves his family every time a threat presents itself. (laughs) Kevin was the genetic pinnacle of his null achievement. (laughs) Of his his what? (laughs) Of his null achievement. Even my instructional lead, a woman who could find a redeeming trait in a Balrog from the Lord of the Rings, failed to see any reason this kid or his family should be alive today. <laughs> Jesus, wow. this guy's a f-ing teacher. 
Here's a list of events that made it abundantly clear that God exists and he's laughing uncontrollably. Kevin frequently forgot when or where his class was. On more than one occasion, I had to retrieve him from other classrooms. Does anybody else been just there? know right now like that, that anybody listening to this knows that guy? Okay. Yeah, everybody because knows Because there's Kevin. more than one. <laughs> yeah. I think I might be a Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> well, there were a couple of parts of the story where I was like, ooh, I'm dodging it. I'm thinking, oh, Christ. But then, no, I'm not a Kevin. Not yet. Well, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Uh, Kevin ate an entire 24 pack of crayons, <laughs> puked, and then did it again the next day. He was 14 years old. I have no idea where he got the crayons. <laughs> well, that's the bit that impressed him. <laughs> Not the survival of the like in- induction of toxins. Yeah, but we've all done that with like whiskey. <laughs> yeah, true. So that's what haven't ever tried. <laughs> yeah. it's, you, know, you could take a whole bottle of Jack Daniels, but Crayola. It's like, the one, you're like, yes, come on. I've never tried to tried to like draw a rabbit with whiskey, though. <laughs> <laughs> How many fingers of Crayola can you do? <laughs> uh, Kevin was removed from the culinary arts program after leaving a wooden cutting board on the gas stove and starting a fire. Twice. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> Kevin threw, I'm just going to do the um, Macaulay Culkin Kevin. Kevin threw his lunch at the school resource officer and tried to run away. He ran straight into a locked door and then insisted that it wasn't him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, wait, this wait, guy's wait. going places, man. Yeah. I'm I'm with Kevin, I'm against <laughs> Kevin. <laughs> Kevin called the basketball coach a mother <laughs> bitch during gym. Basketball team tryouts were that afternoon. Kevin tried out for the team. Didn't go well. <laughs> safe to say that Kevin didn't get the position. Kevin's mum could never remember which school he went to. She missed several meetings because she drove to other schools, none of which he ever went to. <laughs> Ke- Jesus Christ. Kevin tased himself in the neck before a football game. That's more like it, Kevin. <laughs> there we go. Now we're cooking. That's a classic <laughs> Kevin manoeuvre. <laughs> <Come out. laughs> I think this next one kind of explains quite a bit. Kevin used to say the N-word a lot. Oh. Kevin was white. <laughs> The high school was 84% black. Kevin got beat up a lot. <laughs> uh, Kevin once spit on a girl and said, you should get out of those wet clothes. The girl was the Spanish teacher. <laughs> oh, he's a confident <laughs> young chap, oh, this Kevin. Not, not Miss Esther Vez, no. <laughs> Kevin and his parents took up a trip to Nassau and forgot all of their luggage at home. I didn't believe him until I talked to his mum, who told me the same thing. <laughs> But my favourite Kevin story goes like this. Jesus, how bad this is. his favourite one? We were doing an assignment on personification and I had people describe their pets using it. Kevin didn't have any pets, but he said that his neighbour had a cat that he played with sometimes. <laughs> I don't want to know. Yeah, that I'm <laughs> I don't want to, I don't want to read anymore. <laughs> he listed oh. <laughs> He listed off three or four different things about the cat, and it became really apparent that he was in fact describing a dog. <laughs> a really big dog. Okay. I, my mind went somewhere completely. <laughs> Another student who lived on the same street put two and two together and said, Kevin, that's not a cat. That's Mr. So-and-so's black Labrador. <laughs> Kevin was absolutely floored that A, someone else lived on his street. And B, that there was a difference between a Labrador and a house cat. I think to him, dog and cat were interchangeable words, like cat and crap. <laughs> He's being creative. Who can hold that against him? Oh, Kevin. Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. Kevin Special Kevin. needs. I, I think it's <laughs> safe to say that Kevin's probably not with us at this point. <laughs> I was trying to think, do I know any famous Kevins? And I don't think I do. <laughs> no, and it's, 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 there's a reason as to why that is. Well, that was a depraved episode with lots of uh, interesting <laughs> and kind of ridiculous stories. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you for checking it out. <laughs> All the best. Bye. <laughs>